nothing but trash, as usual. When is it locked out for that time? The blending of architecture and ecology. The planning and construction of the city is unique. Keep moving, Brack. You don't belong here. Anomaly detected. Access granted. Turn around, walk away. God, you people make me so sick. Go away! Mr. Perry doesn't pay me to talk. Did you forget something? They say a picture's worth a thousand words. Do they now? These pictures Angela had of you. They're worth a lot more than that, aren't they? How did you... Who are you? Doesn't matter. What matters is that this constitutes motive. Angela Gunn knew that Prague's premier anti og politician had a bit of an og fetish. What you call motive, I call luck. Angela was a problem, now that problem is gone. That doesn't mean I made it go away. Those pictures of you won't be good for your career. Ah, who's to say? Never overestimate the voters. I have what I need for now. Good for you. Did you forget something? I have what I need for now. Good for you. Need to sound the roof the basement.
Did you forget something? What's your position on arms? Officially, I think they are a menace to society. And unofficially? You're a real big fan of us, aren't you? Some of us, anyway. My position on Augs is nothing personal, if that's what you mean. Like I said, I am a servant of the people. Their desires are my desires. Their prejudices, my prejudices. I'm talking about your personal positions. The ones Ivanka has footage of. Apparently you were at an Og brothel all night. Trying to convince those Og sisters to vote for you, is that it? What do you want? Unlike everyone else you seem to know, I'm not trying to blackmail you. I just want to know who murdered that woman tonight. Wish I could help you. But as you can see, I was busy with something else, of which there is ample video evidence. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? Your hypocritical private life isn't my concern right now. I just want to know who was in that alley tonight. It wasn't me. Now, if you want to keep slinging mud at poor Radko Perry, go right ahead. But as far as I'm concerned, you know I'm not a killer. Well, that's for me to decide, Radko. I know we've had our differences, but... I just came from the Udalek complex, Felice. Gollum City. Those people haven't been relocated. They've been detained. And they're running out of supplies, of space, of hope. I told you. We cannot control how the government handles Udalek. I was not even permitted to recruit there. If I did, I'd fill my quota in 30 minutes. Shipping everyone to Rabia doesn't mean things would go differently. Augs are being dehumanized. You don't fix that with eco-friendly architecture. There are two problems with Udale. A construction problem and an ideological one. Mr. Brown learned from past mistakes, and now we have checks and balances in place to screen out the undesirable elements. Checks and balances? What I saw in Gollum City goes deeper than security screening. Really? Then what do you think the problems are? The real problem is a militarized police force who see the people they're supposed to protect as threats. There's no common ground, no oversight, no accountability. Rabia will be policed by Santos' own security services. They are augmented like us, and since Rabia is a corporate state, they have a vested interest in the city. It is part of the new city vision. Corporate security answers to the corporation. It's in the name. If the new city vision starts eating into Santo's bottom line, how long before they're pulled out? Mr. Brown, 
Santo has invested too much into Rabia for it to fail. It has to succeed, not just for the augmented, but for the future. Well, I hope it pays off. I... I just came from the Udalek complex, Felice. Golem City. Those people haven't been relocated, they've been detained. And they're running out of supplies, of space, of hope. I told you, we cannot control how the government handles Utelek. I was not even permitted to recruit there. If I did, I'd fill my quota in 30 minutes. Shipping everyone to Rabia doesn't mean things would go differently. Augs are being dehumanized. You don't fix that with eco-friendly architecture. There are two problems with Utelek. A construction problem and an ideological one. Mr. Brown learned from past mistakes, and now we have checks and balances in place to screen out the undesirable elements. Checks and balances? What I saw in Gollum City goes deeper than security screening. Really? Then what do you think the problems are? Ark. They may have started as a civil rights group, but being locked up in Udalek changed that. They were cut off from society, unable to make their voices heard, so they militarized. But they will be heard in Rabia. We are offering a foundation, stability, for augmented people. Isn't that what they're asking for? You're just putting them in a bigger walled city. They're still marginalized from the world, and now you're harboring a suspected terrorist group. You just turned the Og problem into a rogue state. I am sorry you don't believe in the power of a new beginning. I hope we prove you wrong. So do I. Sorry, I don't advise on corporate security anymore. Had some bad experiences where contracts were more valuable than people. I may recruit for Santo, but I am not naive. The capsule apartment looking onto the desert they promised me, I know the view's not even real. It's just a screen. But I don't care. It's a future. What do you have waiting for you? I'm taking my future day by day. But enjoy your room with a view, Felice. Talk, Laddy, talk, Laddy, like I am not a citizen. Set up a bed and breakfast deal and right off. Where are you going? Hitting blow against face. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, 
sitting tight, being cooperative. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock any two people in a room, and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. I'm actually surprised Angie held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. You don't say. So Angela left you, and you resented her for it. Resented her? <laughs> no. That's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A year! And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night, her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. It made me feel human. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie. Doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. You don't care if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say, let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Men who kill? I think they do it to get attention. They want to be caught. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now, the real punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. That's not how it works. Why not? For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Two, society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? You sure you didn't go anywhere tonight? I went to the bathroom. Twice. I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. In Russia, packed combat drum. Packed Where are you going? Why are you still here? Found your notebook, Johnny. You've been writing about Angie. Some of your descriptions resemble what happened to her. You gonna arrest me for writing shitty poems? They're supposed to help me reconnect emotionally to things. There's a lot of violence in the writing. You describe things that aren't that far off from what actually happened. Breaking a line and breaking a neck aren't the same thing, are they now? Now you start pretending that they are, and you're no better than that lazy asshole detective. They don't like who I used to be, so they want to do whatever they can to put me away. That's all this is. The things you wrote are evidence now. I plead poetic license. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with Bell Tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? A 
I've gone up against them before. I've seen a lot of them die. Yeah, well, I guess that makes two of us. I was in New South Wales. I saw my share of debt. Australia. You were there during the Civil War. That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy is so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand, but I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. Hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. It belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin, even if I wanted to. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they wanted me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. a pair on you, mister. I'll give you that. I thought the red light district was more liberal when it came to Ox. No, no. Nothing like that. Your money's as good as anyone else's, except... Um... We haven't had too many augmented in here lately. You worried I'll put the other customers off their entertainment? In the Red Queen, you're more likely to get some offers, handsome. So, what'll it be? All the trouble lately can't be good for business. You kidding? We deal in sex and alcohol. Times get tough, the man goes up, not down. People are looking to escape, you know? Play out some fantasies, have fun. And a little thing like the possibility of another bombing isn't enough to keep him going. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Don't know if you heard, but they got the bastard who was behind the Ravzika expulsion. What do you mean? Rucker, the leader of Ark. I guess the cops smoked him out of his home. Nu said he's dead and Ark was basically dismantled. Terrorist gone. Poof. Like that. So we got nothing to worry about. Right? Yeah. 
Right. Red light district always this busy. Only at night. Locked up tight during the day. That's when the rest of the old district gets its share of the tourist credits. Pigeons of a different feather. You could say that. A little less adventurous. You know, museum goers, souvenir buyers, walk around with cameras glued to their faces. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You live in the city long enough, you take things for granted. Ignore all the sights and sounds around you that make it special. Yeah, I know the feeling. You only miss that stuff when you've left. Queen's got a pretty liberal management policy. A lot of places in this city wouldn't even let me in the door. The whole red light district is like Mostly. Besides, some of our most popular employees are augmented. Be kind of hypocritical to turn them away as customers. Smart business practice. Oh yeah. The owners here are real smart business people. Part of the reason the Red Queen is the most popular club in the district. Sounds like a nice little family-run operation. Look, I don't want to get in trouble. And I don't want to lose this job. Don't worry. Just get in the way of the land. Actually, I think I'm gonna pass. You change your mind, I'll be right here. Can I get you? Idiot creatures. Why is it? Something to do with the hippocampus, Mrs. Catlock. Difference in neural connections. I think it's because boys think with their dicks. It could be that too, Mrs. Catlock. Master Catlock, I am the owner of the Red Queen. I make a point of knowing everything important, but you? You, I do not know. Could be, I'm not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. Really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. Oh, but I do say so, Metal Man. And my word is law in my domain. So relax. Enjoy yourself. It's a very wholesome place. Wholesome? The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works the bar. The other does security upstairs. Come in on the weekend, and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. You see around here, Nothing comes before family. What can you tell me about the red light district? Oh, you can't be that naive. Then again, we don't get many of your kind through here. As clients. And why is that? Because the Diwali's control it. Now if an og's money is good, it challenges our preconceptions. We can be very accommodating. Still, when it comes to your kind, some among us are... What's the word? Skeptical? Yes, yes. That's a very good word for it. Skeptical. Especially when the organ question seems to be all dressed up for something. It makes the other customers nervous. This place, it's a Diwali-run operation, is that right? Half of Prague is a Diwali-run operation. My family has a God-given talent for overseeing things. And well, poor Prague. 
It was in Sornade of Oversight. And what do you oversee exactly? I oversee this club, obviously. As well as certain relationships. Certain efforts that require a matriarch's touch. And the comings and goings of certain strangers who ask too many questions. I'm flattered if that was a threat. Be careful, metal man. You don't really belong here. That's what they tell me. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive, sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong? You say he's a man. You treat him like a man. Let him find his own way out. No. Left to his own limited ability, Dominic will get himself shot or stabbed or drowned in his own piss. And what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. You, I think, have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. I want to understand this better. What makes Dominic your... our problem? Sometimes the Valley operations need sharp young toughs who can wave a gun. And sometimes they need men who can look good in a suit and make allegiances. So which type is he? I made an arrangement for Dominic. I found him a woman, found him a place, away from all this. Where he was useful, to the family. But he thinks he knows about it. He thinks like a radish, Nicolas. He's a runaway groom. You wanted to marry him off, he wants to sit at the kingpin's table. And this costs you, doesn't it? You're very perceptive. Dominic is disposable to radish, but to me, he can bring a more capable wife into the fold. My fault. Alright, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala, an old Georgian joke, one of Radich's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt a Radich's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. Mm -hmm. And surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. So I sneak into this building, find Dominic, tell him he's expected back home. No. You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage locker. No one can see any of this happen. You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. So you think of this as an act for equality. You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. 